hello everyone in last video we saw what is uh, windows information protection and how to enable that we enabled windows information protection for recommended uh, microsoft uh, apps so that any of our enterprise data could be opened by those apps or transferred between those apps but not to any other app in this video we will see how to add an app to the managed apps list so that we can open enterprise data in that as well for example on this machine i have this pdf file which which is enterprise owned as we could see a briefcase icon here and if i try to open it with chrome it will not work but if i change the ownership to personal and then try to open it with chrome it will work so now we will add chrome to the managed apps list and then try to open this file this is the windows information protection policy we created in my last video if we go to properties go to targeted apps these were the apps which we added were the microsoft recommended uh, default apps we will go to add here and select desktop apps here we can specify the name of the app which we want to add to manage list which in this case is uh, google chrome publisher product name file name which would be the exe and minimum and maximum version if we specify till publisher only then all the google apps would be allowed if we specify only till product name let's say chrome then all the versions of chrome would be allowed but we won't add it this way we will use xml and we will import it here so we will go to our windows 10 machine here we will open local group policy go to windows settings security settings application control policies app locker executable rule we will create a new rule here next allow we will specify the path which would be c program files x86 chrome application chrome.exe next next and we will create this here we will click on no and now we have our app locker policy here we will have to export it i will save it in my downloads folder and name it google chrome I will copy it on my machine so here is my Google Chrome app locker XML file so I will import it in Intune I will go here click on import now my google chrome.xml has been imported i will review and save it now we will go to our windows 10 machine and see whether we are able to open this pdf file or not now if i try to open it with google chrome it does open and i could see a work icon over here so this is how you could add your line of business apps or any other app to the managed apps list so in your domain if you already have a lot of uh, executable rules here so you can simply export them and import them in windows information protection do a testing and then roll it out to production i hope you like this video and please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video Bye bye